The two teams are out in the field now, Ballinamore and Bellevue, led by Ollie Flaherty and Christy Devlin. Great achievement by Ollie Flaherty bringing a team from Ballinamore. They play in this under 12 competition in Longford. And for Christy Devlin, bringing the Bellevue team in from outside the town. It just goes to show you that uh, soccer is picking on outside Longford and outside all the areas. Due to the Republic of Ireland team playing in the European Championship and doing so well, soccer is really catching on at the moment. The referee today is Leo Devlin. Two teams just going to warm up now. We should look forward to a very exciting game. Who's your captain? Who's your captain? What's the name again, Ali? As Leo Devlin calls the two captains together, Robert Dunhoe of Melview and Johnny Ryan of Bandamore. You should have come with a fair down. It's going to start now, is it on? Oh. Ollie! Ollie and Christy! Battle more to kick off. It's Gavin Clancy with the ball. Plays up to Robert Dunham, but goes to one of the Battle more players. Ball them all with the ball under attack now. A good clearance by Gavin Clancy goes into touch. It's a throw from Melview. Gavin Clancy keeps up the field. It's another throw for Ball them all, or for Melview. Here's Johnny. Huh? Sorry, sorry, here's Johnny. Take the two teams a while to settle down. Go on, Come on, don't turn your A very good ball. It's Julian. Julian Mullins plays it out to the wing, out to the left wing. Far wall is fouled. It's a free, free kick for Melview to be taken by Wayne Devlin. Wayne Devlin is going to float this one into the box. Oh, bad free. Great ball by Wayne Devlin. Brendan Wall. And well, well caught by Declan Murray, the Ballinamore keeper. It's Ballinamore on the top, on the attack on the left hand side. Knocks it inside. There's Gavin Clancy. A great clearance by. It's 
Clearing by the right full. Gordon Hughes. This is a throw in for Valdemore on the right hand side. It's Conor Mahan to take the throw for Valdemore. Another throw for Van Lamour. Yeah, come on, Gibbo. You shouldn't have got there. Van on attack. Ball played in. And there's magic with it. Johnny Ryan. Just speaking to the ball there by Robert Donahue. Knocks it back to his keeper. Johnny Murray takes it down. It's a throw in for Valdemore. Throw into Valdemore, taken by Johnny Murray. Inside. Oh. And Alan Duffy collects the ball from Melview. Valdemore with the best chances at the moment. Is Robert Donahue. Paul Pryor plays the ball inside, but the goalkeeper is. Using his box very well, and he's off his line there. There's Johnny Murray again with the ball. Brendan Wall taking the ball on the right-hand side. He tries to get a pass, but knocked out into touch by Johnny Murray. It's a lively sort of a game at the moment. There's Van Der Moor on top, with two chances there. Could have scored. A free kick there for Van Der Moor. Van Der Moor went in. Went in a bit high. Two teams have taken a bit of time to settle down. Wayne Devlin plays up along the line. It's Paul Pryor with the ball for Valdemore. He loses it. And Johnny Murray plays it up with a great ball up the offside. Okay, so uh, as Zach has said, Balnamore seem to be on top at this stage of the game. But it's very early yet, and uh, it does take a while for both teams to settle down, especially in the final of a competition of this nature. So Wayne takes the free kick. Wayne Devlin playing very, very well at the back there. That's a good through ball. Well taken by Declan Murray. Declan kicks it out. Wayne again playing very well at the back and he's had to save his team on a few occasions. Playing uh, sweeper behind the centre half here today. Again to remind you these teams did meet in the league and uh, as far as we know Melview uh, were victorious 3-1 but of course it's very difficult to say in the final and it's a yeah a chance there going for Melview, but cleared well by the Balnamore backs, who are now seem to be sustaining a lot of pressure. So Melview beginning to settle a little bit more now. It's opening five minutes. Referee today, Leo Devlin. So a Balnamore throw. Oh, good two ball. That's a good chance going now. And now Conor Matten of Balnamore on the wing. Oh, well put out there. 
another chance. So again, Balnamore certainly have had the chances in the in the first five or six minutes, but um, the throw now. So John Fitzpatrick from Melview doing a lot of tackling, although he's the left winger, he's doing a lot of defending for his team. As Balnamore seems to be on a lot of good shots. Offside, offside, unlucky, a good shot. Good shot there by Balnamore, so... Yeah, Paul Pryor, midfield there, number six for Balnamore. Wayne coming back. Well taken there by Alan Duffy, and Alan kicks it. And again, Balnamore seems to, to have settled the better of the two teams. A nice little flick. Certainly, we have to bear in mind that uh, the under 12s here, that this is a very big occasion, and certainly the nerves come into it. Would you agree, Zach, in a final of this nature? Yeah, it would indeed, yeah, especially in a game like this in the final. Like two teams have never been in the final before, and a lot of nerves. It takes them a little bit, bit to settle down. You mightn't see a game until the second half. You might get a bit of excitement in the second half. Yeah. No. So again, Melview throw. Well taken down there. Battle the more. Seeing out to the wing again. And Wayne yet again. A good through ball by Wayne. Cut out by um, Derek Moran from Battle the more there. Oh, well placed. Well pushed to the west wing. Unfortunately there. So, <coughs> obviously Julian Mullen hasn't uh, settled into the game as yet, because certainly if he gets a chance, he could be Melview's match winner. But as we said, it's very early yet in the game, and both teams are taking uh, some time to settle down. And weighing yet again another throw, but uh, this time I think it was offside. And the uh, drizzle beginning to come down in Abbey Carton. Taken down by Brendan. Brendan on the ball now. Can he pushes it out down to the wing? There's an opportunity here. Cuts back inside. Oh, some very good defending there by Balnamore. That's good long ball. Wayne seems to be cut out this time. And he's two. The number eight is two. Degnan. Oh, a free kick. And the goalkeeper had to commit himself there. Otherwise, it, we, it would have been a very good scoring chance. So it was a free kick, Zach. What do you think about that? Was that probably the best chance of the game, Zach? It was indeed, yeah. It was a great through ball and missed by Wayne Devlin. And uh, the keeper done well, I'd say, if, if, he had, if uh, the full-back had to leave it, uh, the keeper might have cleared it himself. But he gave away a free. De deservedly free. And uh, this could be a score here from Baltimore because they're very strong. The players at the back here are very strong. And I think he'll have a go at this. could be a goal. Right, so free kick just outside the box. Uh, at the moment, they're just... Um, Having a look at the player who was taken down. Something, uh, something like the free that was in the match today with uh, Rangers and Celtic, where the keeper had to come out and commit himself, and he gave away a free kick. Do you remember that, Dennis? Yeah. Today in the match. Yeah. 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 I think uh, the goalkeeper had to commit himself there, otherwise he certainly would have been in for a goal. So it is a free kick. It, he looks to be just a little bit shaken, but um, the manager is on there now, Oliver Flaherty, and I'm sure he'll be looking after him. Of course today both teams have plenty of subs, they can change any time during the match, bring in some fresh legs if the going gets very hard. On the way to the final, Paul Moore had a, a victory over Mostrum in the semi-final and certainly Mostrum were one of the favourites for the competition. And Melview met Tefia in the other semi-final, 3-2. So both teams have done quite well to get to this final. Now we have a free kick, and it looks like, is it Francis Degnan who's lining up, the number five from Balnamore to take it? So the wall is there, so an opportunity. I'm sure Alan Duffy in the goals is a little bit concerned to get his wall right, and uh, Leo Devlin, the referee, makes sure that the wall is for 10 yards. Free 
Here we go. Oh, yes, a fantastic shot there. Absolutely brilliant from all of certainly 20 yards, Zach. A fantastic shot. As, as, as I told you a couple of seconds ago, uh, Valden Moore, very strong at the back end. Any free kicks in around the box, uh, they're very strong kickers of the ball, and uh, I felt that that was going to be a goal myself. Yep. So a fabulous goal to start this game. Certainly, I'm sure Melview will have to liven up now because um, they're a goal behind, and we've got about, say, 10, 15 minutes gone in the match. Still plenty of time, of course, for them to get back, but now Balnamore lead Melview by one goal to nil. So Melview have got to be very careful not to allow a second goal in because uh, two goals very difficult to pull back. So, yeah. So it's a thrown in now to uh, Balnamore, who are now leading by one goal to nil. Free kick taken by Francis Stegman. Another through ball, and it looks, yeah, oh, well defended there by. And the goalkeeper had to commit himself, and he's outside his box now at offside, yeah. So, so far it seems that um, Balnamore had a lot of chances, and certainly Melview have taken a little longer to settle in this final. Wayne Devon, free kick. Roberts getting, and again, Ballinamore seem to, to be very strong, not just at the back, but also in the middle. The safe hands of Alan Duffy. Come on, Ballinamore. Flicked on by Julian. And now Melview are, have an opportunity here. All oh, well tackled. Well tackled by Adrian Gologli there, the number four. And a good drive out the field. And again, Balnamore, but Wayne, Wayne again, he's doing a lot of work here for Melview at the back. And the goalie has committed himself yet again, which may not have been the best decision he made. And again, now Balnamore seems to have a little bit of pressure. Oh, very well tackled there by Melview. Now, can Julian get things, can he give it to Julian? Nice two ball. And again, it seems to be hotting up a lot. Both teams now having to commit themselves. And now Wayne under a bit of pressure. Oh, it's two. Oh, a great strong tackle by Wayne Devlin. But he seems to be two. There's another opportunity. He's going around the goalie. Oh, he's hit the post. Incredible. A great opportunity there, and he's hit the post. Still the pressure is on and put out for a corner. A great opportunity there for Ballinamore to go two goals up. Met the goalie, round the goalie and just hit the post. So an opportunity that they possibly should have scored, but it was he's done very well to get round the goalkeeper. And the post got in his way. Good corner. Goal kick. So as we said before, it looks like Balnamore have settled the better. They've created a lot of chances. Certainly that's one of them that um, they may reflect upon in the second half, depending how the, the game goes. Wayne Devon kicks the ball out. Again, Balnamore on top of it. And they seem to be giving him a lot of pressure. Melvio under a lot of pressure here so far in the match. A lovely tap down left winger and away goes Johnny Ryan a lovely kick has he got the goalie beaten no referee has blown a whistle offside so Melview finding it very difficult to get out of their half so far and certainly the man trying his laces down there Wayne Devon has been very busy this yeah, afternoon Taken again. So Balnamore seem to have the advantage. Very determined. They seem to have gone out, settled the quicker of both teams. Go kick. Into the middle again. So Balnamore's number eight, Kieran Dakeman, seems to be having a very strong game in the middle of the field. Blocked that one. 
down the wing now. Oh, a nice cross. Alan again, well done. Alan Doffy, the Melview goalkeeper, has been very, very busy in this half. And he has certainly saved his team on two occasions. Another throw. So Christy Devlin, the Melview manager, must be a bit concerned at this stage of the game. His team are losing 1-0 and seems to be under a lot of pressure. But of course, this game of football is very... Oh, another two ball. Very difficult to say. A team can be on top for 80 minutes of a game and for those 10, they can still lose. It all depends on putting your chances away. Certainly Ballinamore have done that so far, and I'm sure there's a few more goals left in this game. So Melview, Melview throw. One nil behind. So they'll be anxious to... A nice cut, he's through, he's through, it. goalkeeper's coming out, he puts it across, oh a great save by the Ballinamore goalkeeper. Fabulous save by Declan Murray there. And Baltimore break very quickly. Push down on the left. Brendan seems to be trying to get back to cover him. And there goes Johnny Ryan down the wing. Put the lovely two ball in. It's in. Baltimore. Oh! They still have pressure on. It's two to number seven. A shot. And Wayne Devlin does a lot of fantastic job there by Wayne. He's done a lot of defending there for his team. And it seems to have saved yet another opportunity. But Ballinamore seems to be playing the better of the two teams. And again, it's down the wing. Johnny Ryan, through ball, but this time I think Wayne Devlin has it under control. And he's going to relieve his team from the pressure by kicking it out for a throw. So Johnny Ryan, Ballinamore, number 11, to take the throw. Causing all the problems for Mel Melview. He's been causing all the problems, uh, Johnny. And he's certainly having a very, very good game so far. Toda Ballamore. Wayne Devon yet again. And another two ball, but another seems to be plenty of Ballamore men. Oh, an opportunity. Some very determined play and some very good on the 12 football being played here today. And it's a lovely two ball. Julian is inside. Can he get his shot in? He seems to be tailed up. And the Ballamore number two, Gordon Hughes makes a very important relieving kick. Another opportunity for Melview. They seem to be caught once they go forward. They have to defend here, but another two ball. Oh, well played by Julian. He oh, a good two ball. Oh, Wayne making the tackle, making it an unfortunate. And now... Brendan Wall trying to get the ball from Elview, but being stopped by Adrian Gologli. And uh, free kick. Free kick to uh, Balnamore. So certainly Melview are beginning to come back into this match. Good header to block that. So 1-0 to Balnamore. And both teams now beginning to settle a bit more. Melview at least getting a few more chances, creating a little bit more. But again, sometimes the first goal in the competition of this nature in the final can be very, very vital. <laughs> Unlucky. So. Gavin Glancy from Melview in the midfield trying to get his team going another two ball Melview could break here no one unfortunate and again the Ballinamore defence holding very steady but there's another opportunity now and out comes oh Julian seems to have the ball a two ball oh is this an opportunity no it looks as if Declan Murray in the Ballinamore goal seems to have that one under control. 
So again, another relieving ball. Wayne Devlin yet again involved in the game. Making another tackle, and this time trying to set up his own attack. A two ball, flicked over, very well headed. Oh, he's got an opportunity to cross, and again, just not able to finish. So Melview beginning to settle a little bit more. Having their opportunities now, if they can just get... Oh, it's another good cross, this time he's in, but... Oh! Referee blew there, I think it was an offside decision. Offside decision there by the referee, Leo Devlin for the game this evening. So, free kick, Gavin trying to win that one for Melview, but not doing so on this time. And again now, the defence, Melview defence, thinking about a goalkeeper and passing it back to Allen in the Melview goals. So Allen relieving with a kick. Wayne trying to push it on, and, fr and uh, Rory McMullen kicking that one, but again Ballinamore seems to have plenty of numbers in defence, and they seem to be able to cope with the Melview attack at this stage of the game. Gavin Clancy taking the throw for Melview. Good throw. Oh. Some very, very powerful football being played. Another good two ball, but again Wayne Devlin seems to always slip this time, unfortunately. Oh! Just offside. And again, Ballinamore very, very quick at breaking from defence and very very fast forward line so the free kick being taken Wayne now trying to relieve his team and this time Ballinamore coming again oh it's a two ball but this time yeah Alan Duffy has it covered so Melview's goalkeeper kicking it out trying to relieve the pressure can keep this in Gavin has the ball in midfield and he goes on a lovely solo run he's gone round one he's gone round two tackle there by Francis Degnan finally and out for a throw. Ballinamore's throw in. So both teams beginning to settle a lot more and beginning to play some fluent football. But at this stage, Ballinamore have had a few chances and put one away, whereas Melview have had a few chances and haven't put one away as yet. Just waiting for the ball. For a throw in. Ballinamore's throw. 1 0 to Ballinamore at this stage of the game. Certainly, one goal isn't enough in soccer. And we still have the second half to go. And just to remind you that uh, this has all been played for the old Connolly Shield, which will be presented to the winners after the game. At this stage now, Ballamore, a lovely two ball, he's pushed it on to Paul Reddington, who gets a shot in, oh, and it's gone out for a corner, good save by the goalkeeper, and now it's important that Melview defend here, they've been very busy so far in this half, under a lot of pressure from Ballamore, so it's a corner to be taken for Ballamore, to our leading 1-0. Long ball too. He's going to have it. Trying to have a shot. Oh, it hits one of the defenders, and it's a two ball. The goalie comes out. He's going to take a shot. Oh, a great save by the goalkeeper there. Brilliant save by Alan Duffy. But again, Ballinamore still aren't finished yet, and they seem to be coming forward. So Melview doing a lot of work to get this ball away. Brendan unfortunate there. Brendan Walls trying to get involved, trying to make his tackle. Pushed out again to Ballinamore. This time. Peter Murray gets tackled. Oh, and he tries to get it back. No. And he's got a Gavin trying to relieve the Melview defence. Wayne with the ball. He better be careful. And a lot of pressure here from Baltimore. They seem to be sustaining. 
offside and certainly that will come as a relief to Melview as they seem to be taking a lot of pressure from the Ballinamore forward line they seem to be very fast So there's five or six minutes to half time. Oh, a great tackle by Ballamore. The ball is still through. The goalkeeper's coming out. Oh, a great kick there by Declan Murray. And again, they're trying to break fast, but this time Melview. No, he's trying to push it through. He's gone out for a throw. So Melview throw. Melview throw at this stage. And. I'm sure it would be a psychological boost to them if they could score before half time, Melview, and try to score us up at one all. Free kick. So free kick to Balnamore, who seems to be playing very well in this half. As we say, we've got about five minutes or so to half time. Gavin, fancy doing a great job there with a the header, and this time the Melview be seen to have an opportunity here to break forward, but Balnamore's Adrian Gologli saving them. Wayne again, making a good tackle, and Gavin trying to... Yes, a two ball this time. Oh, a good two ball out to Paul again. So he's pushing it out, he still keeps it in play. So Balnamore, as we said before, seems to be breaking much faster. Peter Murray. As, he, as Dennis has been saying there, Balnamore on the top. And it's Melvin you know, on the tack with Robert Donahue. It's plays with Julian Mullion. Gavin Clancy. But Balnamore come away again. He's like to Johnny Ryan. Well done. He plays the ball inside. Bellevue are coming a bit back into this game. And they're on the attack again. Ballinamore's on the attack again. And it's Alan Duffy with the ball for Bellevue. Hot like this. Now it's going to be now. Uh, keep out, 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 keep Brendan Moore with the ball, plays up along the line, and it's a throw in for Melville. It's Brendan Moore to take the throw, he's leaving it. Stone McHugh to take the throw from Melville. Going out again for the touch. Ball coming out, sorry. Ball coming out. Huh? What's it, sir? Gavin Sanchez. And a long ball played inside him. Paul Pryor or a missed kick. And the more really on top there. The two and three players heavy ball. Going again for uh, Melview. He's just about coming up to half time now. And the more we're going to be at the moment. So 
Christy Devlin and the Melody Manager have a bit of talking to do to his players. I have time to try and get them up. No. Down to Patrick. The free kick from Melody. Two minutes to half time. And the free kick. This could be even a goal here with Wayne Devil, very strong kicker of the ball. Oh, well held by the Baltimore goalkeeper, Declan Murray. John Fitzpatrick for Melvin sweeping up there. And Robert Donahue plays it out wide. Peter McKiernan. <laughs> Trying to take too much out of the ball. And well played by the ball in the more. On the more. On the right hand side. It'll be taken by Francis Jagnan. This is about on half time now. Darren <laughs> Duffy with the ball for Melvin. Keeps up the field. Now to the touch by Francis Kiernan. With John Fitzpatrick with the throw from Melvin. Throws it on along the way. Now to the touch again by. Brandon Moore will be happy to win a half time one goal up. Brandon Moore with the ball. Great ball to Julian Mullen. Julian Mullen going into the box on the right hand side. Is he fouled? He's keep going. A great save by the keeper, Declan Murray. Well, good play there by Brandon Moore and Julian Mullen. Fouled by the keeper, he had the ball in his arms and he released it and he picked it up again, you cannot do that. So it's an indirect free kick for Melview, just on the stroke of half time. <laughs> indirect free kick. Melview, this will probably be the last kick of the, the first half. It could be a goal out of this. They bring the teams in level at half time. It's Gavin Clancy to take the ball. It looks like he's going to knock it to Robert Donahue. It's more than 10 yards away from the ball. It has to be retaken. It looks like his shot is on here. Oh, poor free kick. Should have done better there with that. Wayne Devlin knocks it back in and is out for a goal kick. I can see half time now with the kick of this ball. Hard oh, tip. It's just half time now and we should look forward to a, a very good second half with uh, the scoreline, Baltimore 1, Melview 0. Another chance for Melview, Peter McKernan with the ball. Oh, good clearance by the Baltimore number 4, Adrian Galugi. Melview still have the ball to get across. Adrian Galugi has it again, he clears it outside. Out in the wing, to number 9, Eggy Martin. Johnny Ryan with the ball, number 11, plays it upfield. Eggy Martin, a great clearance by Wayne Devlin. Johnny Ryan with the ball, knocks it into touch. The throw in from Elview. Elview have come back into this game in the last 10 minutes of the first half. And it's half time. Once again, the scoreline, Baltimore 1, Elview nil. All right, Kevin. What can I say?
to tell you about the last of the commentary, but our commentator did so great, and we'll rejoin him shortly. the second half and again Melview having an opportunity there to um, equalise score standing at 1-0 to Balnamore and the scorer Francis Stegman so still 1-0 all to play for throw in to Balnamore I'm sure at half time both teams will have been spoken to by their managers, Christy Devlin and Oliver Flaherty. Another two ball this time, Balamore seem to have a break on, Wayne makes a very important tackle, but Balamore still on the attack. And Wayne yet again makes a very, very good tackle. Paul keeps it in, He's going, is he going down the wing? No. Taking on Gavin, trying to get involved in a throw to Melview. So Melview starting the second half. stronger than they had been playing in the first so obviously Christy Devon had been talking to them. Gavin makes another two ball Bandamore now beginning to come under pressure from and again Gavin coming forward for Melview two ball and Francis the goal scorer making a very important tackle there and this time Bandamore beginning to break a lovely two ball this time and he's a beautiful ball down the wing goalkeeper beginning to commit it himself but no well tackled. So, throw in this time to Balamore, quickly taken. Pushing it to across. Oh, he's in! Oh! Oh, it's hit the post! Oh, that was an. Un and Wayne, uh, yet again, has to make a relieving tackle. I should have scored that one. Opportunity missing there. So it's a uh, goal kick. Just to remind you that uh, the Noel Connolly Shield will be presented to the winners at the end of the match at the front of the stand. Just to remind viewers that, oh, a beautiful chance. He's, he's broken through. He has an opportunity. Wayne makes a tackle, the goal, he comes, oh, a great kick there by the goalkeeper from Melview. That was certainly a chance, he should have very well saved there by Alan Doffy there on the goals. But Balnamore are not finished yet and they seem to be coming forward again. And this time he pushed it through to Kieran Degnan. Kieran Degnan out on the wing, holding off one and two, ta two tackles, but finally getting caught. And now Melview are breaking forward. Brendan Wall on the ball now for Melview, Life drink inside. Pushes it out wide. But again, Balnamore are doing some very hard work in the midfield there. They're making some great tackles in the midfield, Balnamore. And they seem to be dominating. Oh, offside. Offside. If it's a draw, it will go to extra time, 10 minutes each way. And if it's a draw after extra time, it will go to a replay. <laughs> Free kick being taken, Gavin. 
Melview now trying to press forward to see can they get a goal back. Julian on the ball now. Can Julian turn inside? He does. Brendan Wall gives it back to Julian. Julian's ticket in. Oh! A superb tackle by Adrian Gologli there for Balnamore. Certainly there was a chance on for Melview. Gavin kicks the ball through. And yet again, Balnamore uh, making some very certain. But now Gavin can't see on the ball. Pushing it forward. And that's safe. Declan's, Declan Morris' hands. Playing a very good game in goals, Declan has been. As has Alan Doffey, I might add. This time he pushes it down for Balnamore. Connor going down the wing. Wayne getting in his tackle. Deciding not to give it to the goalkeeper. So Wayne trying to get it away again. Oh, he's caught this time. He's caught. He's pushed through. A lot of confusion. Oh. Certainly going to have a shot. Is he? Oh, a oh, fantastic tackle there. Great tackle there by Melview. He's still on the ball, though. He's still on the ball. And kicked out for a corner. So Johnny Ryan there having an opportunity, but not... Not getting the chance to take a shot that time, as the Melview defence certainly are playing much better in the second half now. Be interesting to see how tired people get out there. Corner to Balnamore. To be taken by Francis Degnan, the goal scorer. 1 0 to Balnamore. Oh, push through. Trying to turn on it. Oh, he takes the shot and well taken by Alan there. Alan Duffy in the goal for Melview. Quick kick. Balnamore seemed to be playing much better in the middle of the field, but of course, one goal is. Never enough in this game. So into Melview, who now have to commit themselves more in this second half as they are 1 0 down. It's important that they. Oh, a nice two ball. Can he keep it inside? Julian trying to get there. Oh, great relief and tackle. Oh, he could, he could nip in. Oh! Referee not giving a free there. Oh, he pushes it through. Oh, a great ball. A great ball. Oh, a great tackle. No, it's two. Balamora, two. Oh, a great tackle by Wayne Devlin yet again. A certain goal on there for Balamora, but Wayne Devlin doing a fantastic job at the back of the Melview defence. Great tackle. Corner to Balamora. Referee wants a word. Short corner into Francis Degnan. Oh, he thinks inside. Is he going to have a shot? Yes. Oh! Corner again. Playing the match. So it's another corner to Balnamore to be taken by Francis Degnan, the goal scorer. So Melview under a lot of pressure. Okay, James. All right, James. Get a shot in a second now. Quick goal kick taken out to Wayne Devlin. Wayne giving it back to Alan. Oh, Francis in there again, and Wayne trying to relieve with a a kick. Do you want to get me? <laughs> so the score still one nil to Balnamore, and Balnamore beginning to get on top again in the second half. Oh, a good two ball, and Melvio. Oh, a great tackle. Two. Oh, John passed it through. A shot. Oh. Agonizingly wide. Goal kick, Melview. No 
Oh, it's an offside. To be taken by Wayne Devlin. And again, quick free kick taken back to the goalkeeper. Gavin Clancy taking a lovely run now. Beautiful run by Gavin. Unlucky, still on the ball now. Oh, good through ball. Can Melview break up the wing this time? No. Oh, and he's broken again. Free kick. Found them all very dangerous when they break forward very quick like that. But certainly, Gavin Clancy had a lovely run from midfield there. The Melview, Melview midfielder. Great run. Wayne Devons take the free. And now the minutes beginning to tick on. It's important that they try and get a score back as soon as they can. Mind yourself, lads, lads. Be careful that you don't fall. Gibbo, come in. Here. So Wayne Devlin yet again taking the free from Elview, this time pumping it into Ballamore's half, but a good header by Adrian Gologli. Gain wave. No name called. Free kick to Melview. So Melview beginning to push forward, realizing that it's important they try and get an equalizing score. And Brendan Wall out in the wing. Good pass there. Oh, it's a good through ball. Oh, well saved by Declan Murray in the Ballinamore goals. Having a great game today. Melview trying to come forward and Gavin Clancy again. He's a very, he looks a very, very accomplished player here today. Certainly one of the better players for Melview today. And he's trying to get in there. Trying to get a cross in. No. And Ballinamore now coming out. Trying to attack. Good ball, Wayne Devlin yet again making a very, very important. Now it's out to Julian. Julian on the wing. Can he get by the number? He's through. Brendan Wall is in. Taking his time. Oh, and he just held the ball up too long. And Ballinamore break forward, pushed out. But Melview now beginning to put a bit of pressure on Ballinamore. Oh, good tackle. Damien Eggy Martin making a Good ball. Always oh, push it through. Connor Matten, no, pushing the ball forward. No Balnamore player there. And Alan Doffy selects comfortably. Kicks it out. Quick kick. Always seems to got through there. Oh, a good ball by Eggy Martin. Trying to look for the return, but Wayne Devon seems to be having it under control. And kicks it out then. So now, Melview under a lot of pressure again as Balnamore seem to come forward in search of their second goal. The leading 1-0. Good cross. Allen comes out, the goalkeeper. Oh, uh, playing very well for Melview so far. Now can Melview break? No. Paul Reddington. Good ball, pushes it out. Now is this, oh. It's a corner. Is it a corner? It's a corner. Corner to Ballinamore. Referee's having a word with one of the Ballinamore players, Francis Degnan, and tells him that it's a corner. <laughs> so Ballinamore now taking the corner, 1 0 up important that Melview don't let another goal in at this stage of the game. Paul is lovely through ball fast trying to get it in. Oh gone for a goal kick. Goal kick. So fifteen minutes gone of the second half, another twenty left. The score standing at one nil to Balnamore scored in the first half from a free kick by Francis Degnan. 
And that's the way it stands at this stage of the game. Wayne Devlin on the ball for Melview. Brendan Wall on the ball for Melview now, trying to get forward, but taking on a few men too many. And Francis Dagnan, who is now coming into the game much more in the second half. Four pound no more. Free kick taken. Balnamore seems to be breaking through. Wayne Devlin yet again making a decisive tackle. Pushes into midfield. And now Melview can make a quick break here, but Julian can get there. Pass back to the goalie up. Goalkeeper commits himself, kicks it out. Brendan Wall tries to come in for Melview. And now Balnamore make the break. Offside. Leo Devlin, referee for today. He's done an exceptional job so far. So the score standing at 1-0 to Balnamore with Wayne Devlin for a free kick inside his own half. And I think a substitution has been made, yes, substitution. Christy Devlin deciding that it's time to put in some fresh legs as Melview come in search of an equalising score. It's been a very close contest today. Both teams very well balanced, very strong at the back, also in midfield, and very fast in the forward line. They've both done exceptionally well to get to the final today. And regardless of who wins, it's certainly been a very entertaining game so far. Now Wayne Devon breaks forward for Melview, tips the ball inside. Balnamore seemed to be under a bit of pressure. Pass back. A brilliant save there by the Balnamore goalie. Declan Murray makes a fantastic save. And now Melview try to come forward. A brilliant save there by Declan Murray. Certainly has kept his team ahead. But now Gavin Clancy, no. Try to push it through. And now Melview probably realise that they have a lot of pressure. Julian is inside. He's, he's got inside. He's through. Is he going to shoot? No, a great, great tackle there by Balnamore. Well tackled by Balnamore. And now Balnamore break. But Alan Stoffy making sure that they don't get through this time. Francis Egan on the ball, tries to push it out. Wayne Devon now beginning to come forward, realising that they need a score, Melview. He's beginning to come more into more forward in this half. So it's a throw, so Chrissy Devlin trying to rally Melview, trying to get them going here to get the equalising score. Throw to Melview. On, Referee just holding them for a second. Gavin taking the throw for Melview. Melview trying to get forward, but finding the ball in the more defence in great form here this evening. They haven't let very many chances go to Melview. Of course, best chance falling to them two minutes ago. Well saved by the ball in the more goalkeeper. Come on, let's get it over there. <laughs> so Oliver Flaherty, the ball in the more manager, somewhat anxious at this stage. Fifteen minutes left in this game so far, so it's important that Melview come forward and try and get an equalising score to at least bring it to extra time. But of course, 
in doing so they have to commit their men and the chance is that Balnamore can break and make it two which could be possible here at this stage pushes the ball out now Balnamore's number eight Kieran Degden on the ball now trying to get it across into Francis back to Kieran oh he's through he's got round him oh a lovely two ball and now Francis is going through on his own Kieran Degden is through the goal he's coming in he's gone to him yes it has to be a score yeah yes so the Balamore bench going absolutely wild here fabulous score fabulous score scored by Kieran Degnan as I was saying a few seconds ago Melview were committing themselves to equalizing and the chances were that the break would come and that's exactly what happened so now Melview have an uphill struggle now to try to get back into this game as they are trailing 2-0 to Balnamore so Balnamore leading two goals to nil Goal scored by Francis Degnan and now scored by Kieran Degnan. Second goal. So less than 14 minutes to go at this stage. Melview going to have to commit themselves. And now he's pushed it out onto the wing. And Conor Mahans puts the ball to. Wayne Devon having a fabulous game for Melview. He's doing exceptionally well to keep them in this game for so long. So Christy Devlin, the Melview manager, trying to keep the lads going at this stage. It's important they try and stay in this game for the next five minutes, possibly get a goal back which would make it an exciting finish. But they trail two goals to nil. And now the ball is being pushed through. Julian Mullins has the ball now. Eggy Martin trying to tackle him and does so. Tro no. Eggy Martin, a beautiful two ball. So Oliver Flaherty, oh another two ball this time. Unlucky there, so Conor Mahan there trying to go down the wing. Throw in. Melview put it out for a throw. Two goals to nil to Balnamore. A third one should, would certainly seal the game for them. Oh, it's a good two ball, and Kieran is there again. No. Wayne Devon doing an exceptional job, but he's caught out this time. Oh, he's trying to shoot. Opportunity gone. Strong tackle in midfield there. Referee holding play up looks like Derek Moran for Balnamore took a knock and Oliver Flaherty the manager on to see that he's okay and I think he's just winded so there'll be no changes on the Balnamore team and Oliver takes an opportunity to say a few words to his team members to keep them going they're 2-0 up just over 10 minutes to go drop ball oh he's gone again oh taken down this time Kieran Degden taken down and a little Referee very quick to get in in there. Obviously at this stage Melview realizing that the game is slipping away from them. Regardless of who wins today, both teams have served as a, a great match. Yeah. 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 
bread. So it's a, an offside. Free kick to Melview. And we're now under 10 minutes to go. Balnamore leading by two goals to nil. First scored in the first half by Francis Degnan. And the second one scored in the second half by Kieran Degnan. Two ball. Melview goalkeeper has it under control. Alan Duffy. Done very well. Certainly has kept his team in the in the match so far. As Balnamore had a lot of opportunities to score before that. And now Melview are trying to to try and get through. Julian now on the ball. He's gone round his own man. He's inside the box. Takes a shot. Oh, and well saved by Declan Murray, the Balnamore goalkeeper. Certainly doing very well. Declan Murray has been having an exceptional game today. Playing very, very well. So Julian Mullins, who's probably had the best chances for Melview today. Finding it very difficult to pass Declan Murray in the Balnamore goals. Wayne again kicks the ball through. This time the ball is dropping through. Maybe Julian can get onto it. He's trying to go inside now. Gavin now on the ball. Gavin Clancy going through. Oh, and he's brought down. Penalty, is it? Yes, it's a penalty. Penalty to Melview. Gavin Clancy going through, taken down. And absolutely no doubt in the referee's mind, it was a penalty. So an opportunity now for Melview to get a goal back on, with something like seven or eight minutes to go. So it looks as if it's going to be Julian Mullins who's going to take the penalty for Melview. And now the only two players who have anything to say on this shot will be Julian and Declan Murray in the goals. So we await anxiously for this penalty. Melview need this score to take them back in the game. Here he goes. A long run up. Here he goes. Oh, and a brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Declan makes a fantastic save by Balnamore. So they are now still 2-0 up at this stage. And certainly it seems as if Melview's chances of getting back in this game have now gone. Unfortunate there for Julian. Good hard shot, but the goalkeeper read it and stayed in his position and took it in his hands. Well saved. And so Balnamore, two goals up. <coughs> Throw in now. So Melview trying to commit themselves, having missed that penalty. Surely the game beginning to slip away from them. But that won't stop them from coming forward to try and get a goal. About six minutes left in the game. Oh, what a great break on by Wayne Devlin. In the defence. Under a bit of pressure. Kieran Devlin is through. Oh! Great save by the goalkeeper. Great save by the goalkeeper, the referee on top of it very quickly to make sure that everything is all done the way it should be. And now Francis Deglin pushing it through, and he's inside, could this be the third? Oh, Wayne Devon doing a fabulous job there as Conor Mahan broke through there with an opportunity to score the third for Balnamore. And now the ball is pushed through. Oh, well played by Navi. Oh, and it's broken. Wayne coming in to tackle. Oh. It's an offside, yeah. I think it's an offside ball. Come on, back to the fence. Come on, the fence. Come back. So Melview realising it may be one of their 
last chances to get a score back. It's a throw to Melview. Two, two goals down, Balnamore have certainly played a, a great game here today. Seemed to settle the better in the first half. Got that goal early on, which is always important in a final. And then seemed to take the pressure from Melview, beginning of the second half. And then, as we suspected, with Melview pushing forward in search of an equaliser, Balnamore broke very quickly and scored a second. So we're under about five minutes to go. Christy Devlin, the manager of Melview, trying to encourage his lads to at least get a consolation goal at this stage. But of course, we've seen some matches here in the past where teams seem to be cruising at 2-0. And within two minutes, it's been all square at 2 all. So there's still a chance. But I think this Balnamore defence, who have played exceptionally well today, seem to be in no mood to allow a goal at all. So Melview beginning to make progress down the right wing now. Alan Clancy taking the throw for them. Balnamore seem to have a lot of numbers back there, seem to be defending very well. A very strong team who, as we said earlier, bet one of the other favourites in this competition, which was Mostrum in the semi-final. Pushing it two now as Melview try to come forward, but they have to be very careful in case the break, and the break is on. The break is, Connor is on the wing, is he going to make the two ball, it makes a lovely cross. No, offside. And it's all over. The game has finished. The score is that Balnamore have won this. Two goals to nil, the two goals being scored by Francis Degnan in the first half, and Kieran Degnan in the second, as you can see, Christy, Devlin and Oliver Flaherty coming over to congratulate both teams for a very sporting game. And Oliver Flaherty in the middle there, acknowledging to Christy, the Melview manager, going over to shake hands with him now, that the game was played very sportingly and the Balnamore lads deserved winners by two goals to nil. And so, very shortly now, they will be receiving the Noel Connolly Shield. So the Balnamore captain will be receiving the Noel Connolly Shield. And of course, runners up trophies to the Melview players who played a very sporting game. In particular, Wayne Devlin had a very good game at the back. Gavin Glancy in midfield had another good game for Melview. But on the day, I think, Balnamore deserved their victory by two goals to nil. And certainly, certainly the two goal scorers deserve mention. But I think today that the goalkeeper for Balnamore, having saved that penalty at a vital stage in the game, kept them in the match at that stage, kept them two goals up. So Declan Murray can feel very proud that he's done a great great game list the players do you, want, do you want it now Zach ok yeah
Johnny Ryan raising the trophy for Balnamore. Yeah, Declan Murray. Declan Murray. <laughs> Gordon Hughes. <laughs> Derek Moran. <laughs> Adrian Gologli. <laughs> Francis Degnan. <laughs> Paul Pryor. <laughs> Connor Mahan. Kieran Degnan, <laughs> Damien Eggy Martin, <laughs> Peter Murray, <laughs> Johnny Ryan, <laughs> and the sub, Jared McGovern, <laughs> David O'Byrne, <laughs> Paul Egan. And Colin Moran, Alan Pryor, and Enda Byrne. Number one, Alan Duffy. Robert Donahue. Number seven, Robert Donahue is the captain. Alan Murray. Alan Duffy, sorry. Alan Duffy. Derek McHugh. John Fitzpatrick. Wayne Devlin. Wayne Devlin, Rory McMullen, Gavin Clancy, Peter McKieran, Julian Mullins, Brendan Wall, Paul Reddington, and the subs. Martin Gavin and Ian Devlin. Oh, you should have got a game in. 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 Oh,
So again, Zach, just thanking the two teams and the speech has been made and everyone having an enjoyable evening's game and entertainment. We'd like to thank everyone here on behalf of Longford Town and wish both teams the very best for the future and we hope to see them back next year. So this is yours truly, Dennis O'Brien, wishing you all a very happy year and we hope to see both teams back possibly next year in the final and possibly Melview will win on the next occasion. But for today, we have to say that Balnamore certainly deserved their victory by two goals to nil, having beaten Melview. And certainly it's a great credit to football here. And so we'd like to thank everyone out there and we hope you enjoy this video as we certainly have enjoyed talking on it. Thank you.